Orange Business, the enterprise services division of the Orange Group, and Siena's Blue Planet made headlines recently with news of a strategic and transformational engagement. And to tell us more, I'm joined today by Hriday Ravindranath, Chief Digital and Information Officer at Orange Business, and Joe Camello, Senior VP and General Manager at Blue Planet, which is a division of Siena. So welcome, gentlemen. Um, let's start by getting you to introduce yourselves fully and by giving us a brief overview of your companies. Uh, Hride, let's start with you. Thanks, Ray. So I'm the Chief Digital and Information Officer at Orange Business, and I lead the technology stacks, as well as I've got the digital mandate, which is essentially shifting our business online. Uh, so what we so what we do at Orange Business is essentially we serve um, uh, small medium enterprises all the way to the largest multinational companies in the world, and we essentially sell connectivity, cloud, and cybersecurity services. Okay, thanks, Rude. And Joe, tell us about your role and more about Blue Planet. Well, I'm the uh, general manager of the Blue Planet division, um, and we're part of obviously Siena Corporation. This organization is 100% focused on building uh, AI-powered autonomous networks for our customers, really focused in the OSS space. Uh, excited to be here today to have the conversation with you all. So, uh, Fride, you recently gave an update about Orange Business's digital transformation and its entirely new B2B IT stack. Uh, what motivated Orange Business to pursue a greenfield AI-native transformation strategy? Yeah, sure. So our customer world, our customer's world is completely changing because of AI, because of the cloud, because of the softwareization of networks. Um, but it's not just what they want to consume from us that's changing. It's also the way they want to consume services is changing. Essentially, they want to completely move online. They want to use our portals. They want to integrate it with us using APIs. So the, the entire service experience needs to be completely digitized, and this is what our customers expect from us. Uh, and if you look at uh, our entire product portfolio as a result of this, these changing needs, each and every part of our product portfolio is getting reimagined as next generation digital products built with next generation customer journeys. But unfortunately, when you look at our IT stack, it's built for a previous generation. So one of the big shifts we decided to do is build an IT stack, a new Greenfield IT stack completely from the ground up to launch these next generation products and services. And uh, Joe, what are the biggest challenges in executing a transformation of this scale? And how are service providers like Orange Business addressing them? No, thanks, Ray. Well, we see customers tackling transformation in uh, a couple of ways. Uh, I think you have sort of the top-down approach, such as what Orange is talking about, where they make a strategic decision as an organization that drives alignment across all the functions. And you know, the goal, uh, each goal is different based on the operator, but you know, one of the ones we hear a lot about these days is you know, we wanna to get to an autonomous network or an AI-driven autonomous network, and we're making a strategic decision as an organization on how to reach that. Um, the second way is by use case or by a business problem, right? We, we wanna tackle inventory consolidation or put in a new assurance platform. And then you know, the customer decides that how they wanna expand from there. So I think, you know, based on that, there are two, you know, there's a couple of different challenges that erupt from, uh, from these types of implementation strategies. And, but the biggest one occurs when there's a lack of internal alignment, right? This, the uh, lack of internal alignment, let's say between different organizations, uh, between the partners and the vendors that are being brought to the table. Um, and that triggers a whole set of things such as, you know, corresponding cost and complex, complexity escalations, et cetera. Um, so it's, it's our belief, and we've seen it time and time in the market, that transformation programs that go the smoothest are those where there's a very clear vision and a very well-managed timeline um, where you have executive sponsorship across all functions. And uh, I think if you, uh, you can see here from Rede's comments that, uh, that Orange has that kind of vision that they're aligning to across the whole organization. Uh, and I think that'll lead to uh, to a great outcome for their customers and their business. Uh, thanks, Joe. Um, now, Hride, uh, how does Blue Planet's orchestration and service assurance technology fit into Orange Business's transformation roadmap? Yeah, sure. So when we decided to go greenfield, the first thing we wanted to do was build an IT stack with cutting edge technology. So we wanted to go with a best of breed approach that was fully modular. 
Uh, and we were absolutely one of the best of the best. So we ran an extensive RFP process that ran several months. We also ran and uh, we also ran a hackathon as part of that, which ran for about a month, where we chose multiple, where we we invited multiple partners to come and compete in a real world environment, as to a whole bunch of use cases. So quite an extensive selection process, and then we finally chose uh, Blue Planet specifically for uh, service fulfillment and service assurance for its AI powered capabilities. Um, it, it needed to fundamentally be also cloud native because we wanted to deploy, deploy it on our sovereign infrastructure, which was a which is a critical uh, requirement, especially to serve our French and EU customers in a regulatory context, such that we can deliver services in a trusted way. Uh, it needed to be aligned to uh, TM Forum and MEF standards, and I know that Blue Planet uh, are, are really active in their participation in these forums, such that they also drive the industry bodies to, to, to conform to a set of standards. So this was quite important to us as well as a company. Um, we also we also they needed to have a, a data driven architecture, and again. Blue Planet was a clear leader in this space, uh, and it also had uh, the company also had the, the the capabilities that it had. It also had a huge catalog of out of box adapters, uh, which enabled us which enabled us to essentially launch products faster. So we can basically, you know, add a new vendor in, add a new uh, component in, in, in a really quick way without having to rebuild all of that ourselves. Uh, and the final and final uh, point is we wanted to completely transform our operating environment as we as we decided to go greenfield. It's not just about the IT. Uh, we were building next generation customer journeys as well, which essentially embedded AI. And again, we were really excited to uh, you know to see the recent announcements uh, from Blue, Blue Planet on this. And uh, so ticking a lot of boxes there, but. Uh... Joe, from your perspective, how do service providers measure success in this transformation journey? Uh, well, every operator looks at their success measurements different, uh, but I'd break the general categories into two buckets. You have sort of the KPIs that are focused on the customer experience, things like uh, improved time to service or improved fulfillment of orders, a reduction of outages, and these are the types of measurements that correlate to ensuring that great customer experience, right? To reduce churn, um, keep revenue flowing, et cetera. So that's sort of the first set. The second set is KPIs that are focused on operational efficiency. Um, these can be things like uh, the number of platforms that are being retired, the cost of paying for those platforms and what are the reductions of those costs and how are we measuring that? How many closed loop processes are being activated? Because closed loop processes tell you uh, exactly where automation is fitting in and how many manual processes are disappearing, right? Um, the manual interventions cost money. Um, the automation of new service deployment and how quickly those services get to customers. So these all signal a reduction in complexity and a reduction in cost. Uh, and also signal that they can uh, that our operator customers can get services to market faster. Um, so those are sort of the two buckets: customer experience and operational efficiency in general. Uh, and finally, uh, Fride, what future innovations or capabilities do you envisage as part of the Orange Business and Blue Planet collaboration? And can you comment on the design partnership and the co-innovation objective of the two companies? Yeah, sure. So. Traditionally, our industry, the telco industry, um, has used to buying software and essentially customizing it to our needs. I mean, we do this ourselves or with an SI. We wanted to completely shift this model uh, in, in, in the way we're building our new stack. And essentially, uh, what, we've, uh, what we've got into in terms of our uh, design partnership with Blue Planet is it's a co-innovation agreement where we can essentially drive their product roadmap based on our needs. You know, and as our needs, as we're shifting to this digital operating model, um, and we're shifting the game in terms of experience with, with our customers, and we're adding new products in. It's also an amazing opportunity for us to work with a partner like Blue Planet to actually drive their product roadmap. And I think it benefits Blue, Blue Planet as well because uh, they, I mean, they, they have the opportunity of working with one of the largest telcos in the world, working with multiple customers on the back of our um, engagement to help, of course, drive their product. Uh, so this is this this feels like a good win-win sort of agreement for for both companies. Some examples of this is um, this is I mean we I mean, we're working on what we call intent-driven orchestration and net DevOps, essentially converting operational requirements into an, an intent model, but using AI to use natural language to be, a, be able to drive automation through the stack. Uh, another example is uh, a digital twin capability that we're that we're looking to explore as well, where we can actually 
uh, use a digital twin and test designs in that digital twin environment before we actually deploy it into the into our customer networks. Also, the, a good, I mean, the fact that we're, we're using Blue Planet for both fulfillment as well as assurance, we can actually really mature the closed loop uh, automation and self healing capabilities because it's the same. I mean, we're using Blue Planet to monitor the network infrastructure and, and our customer's environment, but also we can essentially drive the automation to actually make corrections uh, within the environment using the fulfillment stack. So it's a it's a good it's a good combination of capability that it helps us drive this closed loop automation as well. Well, that sounds like a great collaboration, uh, Fride, Joe. We look forward to finding out how the Orange Business and Blue Planet relationship develops, and to speaking to you both in the future. Thanks very much for joining us today. Mm -hmm.